Привет, guys! How is it going? My name is Fedor, and we have the background change, the studio change, because I moved back to um, to my hometown for the summer, and that's where I'm recording this from. Okay, so you might see some changes in this. Okay, but today we're gonna talk about the comparative forms of adjectives. How to say bigger, smarter, more intelligent. We're also gonna learn how to say bigger than something. Okay, so let's get right into this. We have a couple of ways to say bigger or smarter. And the first one is we just add более or менее before the adjective. Think of it as uh, more and less in English. We say more intelligent, more, um, more expensive and those kinds of words, okay? Um, so let's look at the examples, guys. Uh, let's just learn from examples. Красивый, which is beautiful, turns into более красивый. So as you can see, we just add uh, более before красивый, and that's it. We just add this, and the word is going to stay the same. It's the same exact word, okay? Umni, which is smart, turns into более umni. Okay? So smarter. All right? As you can see, just add bolia, and that's it. The word is going to say the same. The same with mania. Uh, mania is less, as, as I said before, so less beautiful and less smart. Okay? Again, just add these two, and that's it. We don't change the word. I took this information from learnrussian.rt.com, and they have more detailed article about this that you can check out and maybe learn from that because I'm not going to cover all of the comparative forms uh, like waves ways we form a comparative form of adjectives so if you're interested in more in more stuff go check it out learnrussian.rt.com next one is we gotta add ye ye to the stem of the uh, word okay so and by the way um yeah, yeah, it's not the only ending that we use, but this is the most useful one, okay? I'm not trying to give you 15 of them, and you're going to use only yeah, yeah in the most cases, okay? So yeah, yeah is the most common one. You're going to use it the most. So how do we figure out a stem of the word? Uh, basically, for adjectives, whatever you see at the end, or aya, um, or oye, or iye, these are the endings, and also ы right here. Ы. These are the endings of the adjective, okay? You just remove them, just cross them out, and there is your stem, okay? So for this one, красивый, we're just going to remove ы and add ye ye to it. As you can see, it turns into красивее. So basically, ы is going to be changed to ye ye at the end. Or any of these endings are going to be changed to ye ye at the end. So, красивый, beautiful, красивее. Красивее, more beautiful. Умный, smart, умнее, smarter. Сильный, uh, strong, сильнее, stronger. Горячий, hot, горячее, yeah, oh, горячее, горячее, right, uh, hotter. Холодный, cold, холоднее, colder. So, I gotta say this uh, before I move on. You know, like in English, we, we can only say bigger. We cannot say more big because, you know, it's a short word. We don't really say more big. We say bigger. And the same with smarter. We cannot say more smart. It's like it's, it's not really correct. Well, in Russian, it doesn't really matter what the word is. We can use both of these ways to form a comparative with any of the words. Okay, but sometimes, of course, when the word is super long, you're not trying to make it longer, but by adding ye ye to it, you just say bolie and whatever the word is. But it's very, it's really rare. So with any adjective, you can use both ye ye and bolie or many words to form the comparative form. All right, and the third, and of course, we cannot go anywhere without exceptions. Russian language is full of exceptions, and this topic is not. It's not an exception from those exceptions, okay? So these uh, words, I'm not going to follow any pattern. Uh, so we're just going to know them, okay? And these are the most useful ones. Again, I'm not trying to give you all of them. I'll give you the most useful ones and the most common ones. 
So большой, which is big, is больше. You can see that we just add е to it. Маленький, small, меньше, smaller. Дорогой, expensive, turns into дороже. Дороже, more expensive. Легкий, light, легче, легче, lighter. Высокий, tall, выше, taller. Низкий, short, ниже, shorter. Хороший, good, лучше, better. Плохой, bad, хуже, worse. So for these two, okay, for these two words, for, for I mean, for these two pairs. Just like in English, right? Good and better. Better, there is no connection between better and good, right? It, it, they, they sound completely different. There is not even one letter that's going to be the same, okay? The same with bad and worse. They're completely different. The same in Russian. Good is хороший, лучше is better. Плохой is bad, хуже is worse. As you can see, they are nowhere near each other, right? They're, they don't even sound the same. Uh, you know, this kind of sound the same, большой, больше, they kind of have some sort of, you know, uh, correlation. But with these two pairs, there is no correlation whatsoever. All right, so just gonna, you gotta know them, okay? Now, it's uh, how do we say then? To say then, we have two ways of doing that. The first one is the easiest one, is we just add чем. Чем is a complete equivalent of then. Okay, for example, он умнее, чем мой брат. He is smarter than my brother. So we just put that uh, then in between of, you know, the compared pairs, right? Um, and it's gonna make sense just like in, in English. He's smarter than my brother. We just put then in between of, um, you know, the objects. Second example is стол больше, чем стул. The table is bigger than the chair. Okay, again, just put чем in between and it's gonna make complete sense. But the second way is more for advanced people, okay? If you're a beginner, you can ignore this one. We just put the compared object in the genitive case. For example, if I say the chair is bigger than, than the table, the table is going to be the one that is getting compared. Okay, so that's why we're going to put uh, a table in the genitive case. Okay, so something that we compare the object to is going to be put in the genitive case. All right? Um, you can check out the cases videos on my channel. I, I, I made like maybe seven of them, so check them out. The same exact example, on umnie, uh, he is smarter than my brother, we can put it in this way. On umnie моего брата. So these two words are going to be put in a genitive case, because they are the ones that are getting compared. Okay? Стол больше стула. The table is bigger than the chair. Okay? So chair is going to be put in a genitive case because we're comparing the table to the chair. So the chair is going to get affected. But as I said before, if you are struggling with this, you know, uh, genitive case thing, just use the chim example right here and it's going to make complete sense. You're going to be completely right when you use it. Okay? And for you guys to practice, just choose any five adjectives that you like the most. Beautiful, smart, intelligent, I don't know, expensive, cheap, and then put them in a comparative form. Okay? And put your answers in the comments down below so I can check them and give you guys feedback and maybe correct you if, if, if it needs to be corrected. Okay? But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Пока-пока!